Hello guys, welcome to my new Jinxing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the five top five four star weapon for Deha. Deha, the female pyro claymore user. So we're going to talk about the top five four star claymore for ne Deha. I'm going to list them from five to one. So stay tuned till the end, guys. Okay, guys, on number five, we have prototype archive this is a very old weapon this is a monster forgeable claymore and you can actually forge this claymore this is for free and this is the oldest claymore that we have in the game i'm putting this claymore on number fifth this claymore gives a lot of a bunch of bunch of attack a lots of lots of attack and uh this weapon's passive also uh, also decent deals 250 at aoe attack AOE uh, damage, AOE attack damage when you hit your normal and charge attack and with Deha you're going to perform a lots of lots of normal and charge attack so I think uh, this one will fit in with the kit and works very well. The reason I'm putting this weapon in the list and on number 5th this weapon gives a lot of lots of attack and when you're building any DPS character in the game you need a tons of tons of attack. And on number four, guys, we have this Inazuma's Forgeable Claymore. Again, another forgeable weapon. This is a forgeable claymore. You can actually forge this weapon in the game for free. And this is a pretty good four star claymore in the game, guys. This uh, weapon gives a tons of tons of energy recharge, like around 46 percent energy recharge and 510 base attack with the abilities like increase elemental skill damage by six percent after elemental skill hits an opponent the character loses three energy but regenerates three energy every two seconds for the next six seconds this effect can only can occur once every 10 seconds and can be triggered even the even when the character is not on the field so why i'm putting this weapon in this list and on number fourth this weapon having an energy recharge and you all are think, uh, thinking right now that why you putting an energy recharge weapon in this list because Nahida uh, sorry they has alt cost 70 they has alt energy cost is 70 and her elemental skill CD goes up to 18 second or 20 second they has Elemental CD, elemental cooldown goes up to 20 second and her her elemental burst cost 70. So in my opinion, the opinion they has going to need a little bit of 30 to 40 energy just like uh, Sino and Shao. On Sino, uh, we have we need 30 to 40 energy recharge and also same with Shao. Shao having a 70 energy cost, elemental burst energy cost is 70 on Shao and still we need 30 to 40 energy with Shao. So same going to happen with uh, Deha, so that's why I'm recommending this amazing weapon which helps you to get your elemental burst ready fast. So guys, on number 4, we have this weapon. I know I don't know how to pronounce this weapon. This weapon is very hard to pronounce. And on number 3, guys, we have Akumaru. Akumaru is a 4 star weapon. It's like banner exclusive weapon. If you want this weapon, you have to wish on the character banner or the weapon banner. This weapon having a base attack of 510 and a substrate of attack percentage with 41.3% attack. The passive ability is for every point of the entire party combined maximum energy capacity. The elemental burst damage of the character equipping this really weapon is increased by 0.12%. A maximum of 40% elemental burst increase damage can be achieved this way. So we already know guys, Deha is going to deal the maximum amount of damage with her elemental burst. So this weapon is giving a tons of tons of, first of all this giving a tons of tons of attack. Like giving a loss of lots of attack and then giving a 40% increase elemental burst damage. So I think this is going to be very very good weapon on Deha. This weapon is giving 40% increase elemental burst damage and giving tons of tons of attack. And this weapon is a 4 star weapon so this weapon is comparatively easy to get. So on number 3 guys we have Akumaru. 
and guys on number two we have the bell why i'm recommending the bell uh according to the community according to the changing player this weapon is the worst weapon in the changing history no one uses this weapon why no one uses this weapon because we never had a hp based character before we never had a claymore user that builds on the hp percentage but we are getting deha deha is a little bit on hp side some of her abilities and functioning is based on hp and deha is also ascending on hp so i think this weapon is going to be very very good on deha if the deha is based on the hp build hp percentage build this weapon is giving a ton tons of tons of base attack and hp percentage also the ability is pretty much good and very very good for deha we already know that in uh the de uh, inner elemental skill they has elemental skill they had ta takes damage so this weapon will generate a shield on basis of the max uh, wielders max hp after wielders take damage so i guess this weapon is going to be very good on deha if deha is going to be the hp spilled that's why i'm putting this weapon on number two according to me this weapon is going to be blast on deha compared to other force charge weapon which do not have crit rate or crash damage and on number one guys this is the my favorite weapon lineup blacklift flasher blacklist flasher having a base attack of 510 with a crit damage of 55.1 percent and this weapon's passive ability this weapon's ability is also very good after defeating defeating an opponent attack increase by 12 percent for 30 seconds this this effect has a maximum of three stacks and a duration of each stack is independent of the others first of all guys uh they has elemental elemental burst duration is only four seconds so i don't think this passive ability is going to be very very good for deha but this weapon having a crit damage and having a 500 base attack is pretty pretty good in my opinion this weapon is going to be blast on deha considering this weapon is a four share weapon but this weapon is a weapon uh, it's a shop weapon so you have to spend your this uh, what the fuck this masterless tag leader in order to get this weapon so on number one black lift flasher okay guys this is my list top five four star weapon list for deha uh if you think uh, i said something wrong or my list is uh, wrong you can correct me in the comment you can tell me where i'm going wrong uh, otherwise guys like the video share the video with your friends who are going to wish on deha and guys we'll meet in the next video we'll meet in the next stream live stream till then guys take care and bye bye